This is gonna be a quick one, folks. This is Cypress Hill, and I've liked this group, but unfortunately I cannot. My ears are just too modern, and, you know, I wasn't 13, I wasn't 18 in 1991, so, unfortunately, this record does not resonate with me that well, and I mean, it's just amazing what The Chronic did for rap music one year later. So, this group is a Latin hip-hop group from California that is known for smoking, and also a lot of California kind of Latin type stuff that went on around that time. It's really kind of a daytime album. Assuming you walk out of your house, you walk up the street, you go and find something to do balanced with the California lifestyle, and that's about what it is. But the problem with this album is just the absolutely awful production. I mean, it just does not fit at all. I know it's attempting to be a little bit of, like, real, I can't even think of the word for it, theatrical type production that just has more elaboration to it, but it doesn't work. And at least it didn't at the time. I know this is a heralded debut, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. Cypress Hill has had better days, so, which is essentially the point, um, so can you smoke to this, it's likely that you, depending upon your age, you can find more songs to smoke to, but there really isn't a single good beat on this entire album, there's 12 songs, and how I could just kill a man, this song is good, and Hole in the Head is another one, but other than that, there's really nothing to smoke to. Light Another is an almost song, but that's kind of pushing it. Stoned is the Way of the Walk doesn't work, and there's just tons of them that are not that good. So like I said, the production is just a thumbs down. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. You know, I actually do like Be Real quite a bit, and I like Send Dog as well. I like these cats, but I do not. I just, it's hard to have appreciation for this album just because of how dated it is. So, the unheard songs, I like two songs, but this is kind of, I mean, it's wary territory just because I may like them, but. You know, as far as smoking goes, you're going to have to figure out as to whether or not it's worth it to smoke to them. So, How I Could Just Kill a Man and Hole in the Head are the ones that are close. And then there's two almost songs in Hand on the Pump and Light Another. Now really, everything else is atrocious as far as like production stands. And, you know, Black Sunday is better. And... You're just going to have to decide for yourself. I mean, obviously, it, I just do not feel like this is a very enthralling record. So, I don't recommend this album. I guess if you're a completionist and you wanted all of Cypress Hill and you want to see what's the best stuff that they have in store... You know, you, you might be able to do it, but it's just going to take patience in order to like some of these songs. And so I'm going to give this album like a a 1 out of 10, just concerning that I did halfway like at least 4 songs out of 12. So, you know, obviously this is why I don't like reviewing albums I don't like, because it... It kind of creates that space that, you know, as if I'm wasting my time or something, but I did not appreciate it, and the future, I mean, Cypress Hill has been saying that they're going to drop an album, it's supposed to come out this year, I don't know what happened, but the social score, I'll give it a three social, just because, you know, this is popular on the West Coast, 
and also it you know it just has that sunshine feel it's a daytime album so understand that but yeah there just isn't a lot going for this record so I give this album a one and a three social and I think obviously it can be taught